Hello, uh, my name is Mark, I'm Peter, and this is our project for the Embedded OS class at Cornell University. Uh, we implemented the robotic arm as a candy sorter. Um, it divides into two parts mainly, um, the Raspberry Pi handling the OpenCV part to do object detection to sort between the yellow and the red starburst, and then the other part of the project, uh, which Peter will talk about, is it's a uh, it's actually running on a PIC32 and it handles the inverse kinematics and all the motor controls for the arms. And the way they communicate with each other is through a serial port and it's able to send commands, which we'll actually demo now. Okay. So, we're do. so the first thing it does when we start the Python code is that it enters a state machine and the very uh, first state machine it enters is the init or the idle stage. In the idle stage, uh, it waits for the user to input between the colors. And once I input, say for example, yellow, uh, it will go into the next state, which is to detect. And then you can see uh, the way we implemented the, uh, I guess the vision control, is that instead of this detecting the position of the starburst, and then say go to that position, what we've done is more of like a fine tune control, where we detect the position of the claw the position of the skittle or the starburst, and then we take incremental uh, correct steps until it gets into a radius that's close enough, and then we enter the last part of the state machine, which is to grab it and then to sort it. And then we'll try that again with a different color, uh, red this time. In the way, when we have multiple objects, it detects between which one to grab, is it'll actually look and see which one's closest as possible to the arm. And what that prevents is issues with trying to grab candies that are ahead of other candies. And in this case, you see the hand kind of hovering around. And then what it's doing is it's kind of incrementally, sometimes it overshoots and then sometimes it undershoots. So it's kind of fluctuating between uh, as close to as possible to getting to within that range. And then once it hovers around, hopefully it will hit a number that's close within, uh, maybe, I think this time we said within 10 pixel radius. And then once it's under that range, then it goes into the next part of the state machine. And then I guess to talk a little bit about the frame going on here, uh, we see the raw image input, and then it detects the skittle overlay. Um, and I just do that by thresholding the color range in the HSV scheme, the hue saturation value, and then um, we go for the last skill. Oh, that one goes. We might have to relocate the Starburst a little bit. Okay, there we go. So one way we also um, distinguish between uh, noise or undesired object is we do it by size of the detected object and also the shape of the detected object. Um, I think actually in this case, we have lost the claw. So let's restart that. Bring it back into its default stage. And then we'll go for, what again, redemption. There we go. Those were four starbursts sorted by color. All right, very good.